Hey y'all, I'm Jay Maxine. Welcome to or back to my channel. For those that are new, I lost 65 pounds by simply changing up my eating habits, obviously incorporating exercise, but I strongly feel that you lose weight in the kitchen and you get fit in the gym. Anyways guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Definitely comment and subscribe because I want you to say, thanks guys. Anyone that has ever been on this channel, and even if you're new guys, you're gonna understand and learn really quickly how much I enjoy to eat food, okay? If it's healthy food, I don't want it to be bland. You know, I don't want it, me to struggle to get through a meal just because I'm like, it's healthy and it's gonna make me feel better, look better, or, or whatever the case may be. But I wanna start off first with your attitude. Oh, y'all, and this drink was so good. Um, when it comes to weight loss, just in general, or you know, fitness goals, I feel like you have to start with your attitude. If you're on like a health kick to lose the weight or to look a certain way, it'll be very, very, very hard for you to lose weight permanently. Y'all, someone told me the other day that losing weight was very simple. I was like, is it? Because it was not for me. Um, some people think that losing weight is simple, but it definitely is not easy. Over the past couple of years, I've lost 65 pounds, right? It was definitely a journey, mainly through the change in my relationship with food. Do I love food? Absolutely. Did I have to change my way of eating the food? I did. Sometimes do I indulge in something good? Absolutely. I'm not a robot. I have to enjoy what I'm eating in order for me to want to continue on my health fitness journey. Um, you know, I've heard all kinds of things from, you know, why you shouldn't cut out carbs to why the number on the scale means very little. I've learned a lot about how to make fat loss sustainable along the way, which I think I've done a really good job. Um, and some of the things that I've also learned is the vast majority of people and women in particular, because I can speak from that perspective, are always trying or at least wishing to lose some weight, no matter how much for either health or aesthetic reasons. Y'all know, we see reality TV stars, celebrities, even like influencers who are pushing like these lactative teas or some kind of you know, diet plan, lose 10 pounds in five days. Like guys, I don't even pay attention to those anymore because it's it's pretty much saying like, here's an idea and just they want you to put in minimal effort to get results fast. And that just doesn't sit well with my spirit. Um, but the truth is none of these things work. There is no shortcut and anything that results in rapid weight loss won't be healthy or sustainable. And guys, I'm, I'm speaking on it, right? Because I did that. Oh, and I did not like those guys. <laughs> um, but you didn't gain 10 pounds in a week, so how could you possibly lose it that quickly? How? And just a quick note, guys, I was totally enjoying myself at this Giga Factory opening. I do not, however, eat beef, pork, none of those things, so. Um, if you see my plate, I have this potato salad that I'm getting right now. I don't even like potato salad, but I was going to give it a try because y'all know I'm trying new things in 2022. Like so many, my weight has fluctuated over my adult life. Over my adult life. I've had so many different type of bodies. But, you know, in the middle of 2019, I was the biggest and the heaviest I had ever been in my life. I was feeling sluggish. I did not enjoy shopping. Oh my gosh, y'all, I hated it. I was barely fitting into any of my clothes, but I don't think I realized just quite how much weight I had gained until I literally saw a picture of myself. I think I told the story. Um, I'll link my weight loss journey above so you can kind of hear a little bit more detail, but it took that one picture. wrong with
with gaining weight if you're healthy. But at that time, I wasn't. And my weight gain was a reflection of the fact that I wasn't looking after myself. Losing weight wasn't my main initiative, but it was part of the overall lifestyle switch I've successfully made. And that's what made the time difference to every other time I've lost a few pounds. It was time to start putting myself, my health, my happiness, everything first. No restrictive plans, no restrictive rules, no thinking of myself as being on a diet. You guys know I do not even like the word diet, but rather approach it as a journey towards creating a healthier, happy, sustainable lifestyle. And y'all, it worked. So this is my wedding anniversary. So I did a little bit more indulging than I usually do, but that is okay. Um, so let's talk about the eating habits again. So first, like I said, I changed my mindset. Um, I had to drop the notion that you should always be eating less hungry people and i'm gonna say hangry because when i am hungry and i need food i definitely become angry sometimes but i know that about myself hungry people aren't going to be successful with losing weight and keeping it off satisfied people are when you build balanced meals that leave you full you don't really think about food between meals at least i don't i mean if i do then i grab a snack uh, and I'm gonna stop real quick and talk about the food. The food was absolutely amazing. If you have not gone to Eddie V's, do so. Here are the sides. We did um, spinach and Brussels sprouts. I really wanted the truffle mac and cheese. But y'all, I had been eating so much that day. I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and make a decision and just stick with my greens, which was good. Had some fish, some shrimp, some crab. But anyways, guys, the bottom line, Instead of eating less at every meal, aim to eat more, but more of the right food, which I really tried to do when I was at dinner. But y'all know, I don't like to get too deep uh, when it comes to, you know, talking about calories um, and things of that nature, because I'm not a dietitian or a doctor, but I do advise that you go see one. But y'all look, when I tell you this dessert, hit the spot and hit the spot. Um, but I know I talk a lot about, you know, I changed my eating habits and I lost the weight. Um, but you know, there are going to be people who tell you, you know, eating a healthy diet does not ensure that you will lose weight. Okay. Your weight is a balance between the calories that you intake and the calories that you burn. Um, you will lose weight if you burn off more calories than you intake, obviously, and you will gain weight if you eat more calories than you burn off. But again, not a doctor, don't quote me on that. Just going off what I've done in the past. Hey y'all, I'm walking two miles. Trying to make sure I stay on top of my water also. And I should probably look into the camera. Oh, guys. It's a beautiful day outside. I will tell you that it's a beautiful day. Self-care is always a must. A person should be listening to their body, not any external cues from the social world. Um, everyone in this world, guys, is on their own journey. I don't know what you're going through. You don't know what I'm going through. I just want everyone to be kind to one another. Y'all, I had so much fun decorating the eggs with my kiddos. They did a really good job. I had a couple as a snack. Don't tell them that though. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate your support. Yeah. Come on. Comment. Subscribe. And hit and that hit that like button. And the bell. For more videos. Yeah. <laughs>